I got the guns for sale. If I go to jail, you might have to pay my bill. This ain't a fairy tale. Put it on the scale, don't leave a trail. Tuck your body up and leave it in the mail. Then jump in my car and go off the rail. This that old school, new school. This that G unit, you know that we rule. Everything around, don't ignite the fuel. Or you'll need a buck fifty going to the banks. Just shut up and say thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yes, my friends, it's your boy. I'm two times back again with another reaction. And today, we're reacting to Jay from TGF's new video, Driving Until I Get Completely Lost with Zero Dollars. Now, I've been watching TGF for years now, one of the funniest groups on YouTube, on the platform, one of my favorites as well. But yeah, let's get right into this video. But before anything, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my socials, and let's get right to the video. When you run out of petrol, and you have no money, you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, with no food and no water. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Me and Luke are gonna be driving until we run out of fuel, on purpose, so we're completely stranded. I really wanna put myself in a scenario where I'm like, forced to survive. Does that make sense? We're about to fill the car with fuel, and then we're gonna be on our way. I'm hungry already. How far do you think we're gonna get with a full tank? Oh boy. I think we're gonna be very far from home, you know? Yeah, 100%. We're gonna be so- Um, judging by the car, uh, it's an Astra, I'm pretty sure. Four, um, uh, four cylinders, if, if I'm correct. Full tank will probably get you 600 kilometers. That's crazy. So far from home. No signal. No Siggy whatsoever, bro. I think I'm gonna try and head in country lanes, so we are completely lost. So it's pretty simple. We drive out as far as we can in no particular direction until we have no idea where we are. The problem we already have though is this. No money. We're gonna run out of fuel. Fuck, I feel like there's something in my eye, man. God damn, nigga. We have no food, no drink. No signal. I've never even ran out of petrol. What happens if the car just stop? What happens if we're in a country lane and we break down and there's no one around, bro? What are we doing? We have to make money. We have to, bro, we have to. So they literally have no phone, no money at all. So they're going to be literally stranded. <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait to see how this turns out. To find a way of making money. Yeah, what are we actually going to do? How are we making money with what? We decided to stop for a well-needed break and it was literally game-changing that we did this because, well... Jay, we have no money. How are we eating food? Don't know, it's getting to me, you know. But luckily, where we stopped gave us the opportunity that we've been looking for and this changed the direction of this entire challenge. So, just to let you guys know what's going on so far, me and Luke are about a third of the way through our petrol tank. This probably means in the next two hours we're going to run out of fuel. We don't know where that's going to be. Plan of action going forward is this. I'm trying to give you guys context to what's happening so far, but this gate is moving. Oh my god, I'm going to die. We're going to run out of fuel eventually. <laughs> then, I think, me and Luke are going to have to be prepared with a plan of action to make money. Because without money, we are screwed. We're not going to be able to buy food. I reckon you are... Um, uh... Oh, this might be like a place out in whoop whoop, bro. So, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be much fans of them there. If there is, charge for some um, selfies or something like that. Dude, we're not going to be able to buy water. We're not going to be able to buy a tent to sleep in, which I think is our current plan for the night. Most importantly, actually, we need to get... Just sleep in the car. Home. Little did we know that our fortunes, our riches, were staring us right in the face the entire time. Oh my god. I think I found something that can make us money. Look at these giant daisies. All we've got to do is find an insecure girl on the street, <laughs> make her feel special with the flowers. Once she takes the flowers, then tell her we charge 50p per f <laughs> Or just rob her. <laughs> Flower. We have to prey on people's insecurities. That's what society has done my entire life. Why can't we do it? Jay, that's actually genius. If we approach somebody and tell them, oh my god, you look so beautiful today, and then we're like, oh yeah, you want flowers, my guy, and they're like, oh my god, that's so cute. 50p. We gotta find that's some beautiful <laughs> young ladies that we can offer daisies to. Oh man, they have traffic lights around here. This is a nice pitch to tell him. 
hi, hi, hello. You, you're so beautiful. Like, you, you look like a girl that deserves daisies every single day of your life. Every single morning. Wake up, someone gives you daisies and tells you how beautiful you are. They're 50p each. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies are going to be outside nightclubs, aren't they? 4pm on a Monday and you think there's going to be ladies outside clubs. I don't care if they're male, female, they're a young person, an old person. I am selling daisies, bro. McDonald's car park right now is swimming with customer opportunity. Mark, you got to build it with a sub story, you know. So you've been getting, you've been getting shut down by everybody, you know. you got to preload it with the guilt trip, you know what I mean? I'm starving and I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, say that as well. Yeah. I was just be like, you see how they, um, uh, the, the storylines for X Factor? <laughs> They're like, oh, my, my sister died or something like that. Ah, uh, she used to love daisies. I can't stop thinking about her with this. <laughs> can you buy them from me? Bro, yo, easy. I reckon you can make £2.50. Excuse me, guys. I've genetically modified leaves in my back garden. I've got no money. And I'm trying to see if I can travel across <laughs> Wales with no money by selling daisies. Oh, you, yeah, well, if you want to buy all of them, you, oh, really? <laughs> I'll do a deal. I'll do a deal. A, a pound? A pound for all of them. 20p? Okay, yeah. there you go. Are you sure you don't want all of them for a keep, pound? Keep the daisies. Are you keep serious? Else, yes. That's right. extra profit for me, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. I can't believe I'm making money. She told me to keep the daisy. Please hear me out. Please hear me out. Please hear me out. Okay. I'm struggling, okay? She knows I've got who no he is. money, no food and drink. I'm driving as far as I can until the car breaks down. I, I will literally give you all of these for like £1.50. These are genetically modified as well. I've got three quid. I'll give you three quid. Three pound? Are you insane? Are you actually serious? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you four. Oh, oh my God, bro. We got food and water. I get a picture. You can have a picture. Do you know what's really, really sad? I've just decided I'm doing this new business and it's like 50p a selfie. <laughs> Thank you so much. There you go. Can I get a yeah, you can. <laughs> bro, we got food. We got food. <laughs> I'm charging 50p a selfie. Do you want to contribute to my... 50p <laughs> Yes, one second. Yeah, oh my god. Use your platform wisely, influencers. Rich now. <laughs> well, I sold some genetically modified daisies for £4 and I got 20 Yeah, here's a quid. Are you serious, bro? Of course, mate. Take as many as you want, bro. I'll, I'll do you a bundle. Yo, 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 50p. We got 50 people. He's, get, he's getting me a McDonald's. Bro, 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 how much is that? 20, 40, 90p, £1, £1, 20, £1, 40. Why do. The coins look like Australian coins. Obviously, <laughs> I'm so dumb. Obviously, because I'm a uh, Commonwealth and shit. We're balling. £1.50. <laughs> Bro, we've made some money. What? It's, five, it's only £5. Pounds. Let's go! Let's go, bro. Thank you so much. You're absolute king. These lovely people have just put me and Luke in the best position possible. Good the people. question is, where do we go from here? Do we buy food and water? Do we put even more fuel in the car to get even further? Or... I think we should go gamble all that. I think, I think we should go put nah. that on a slot machine. Uh, I'm just trying to think, how would they get back? I think go to... Go to the um, uh, petrol station, buy um, a jerry can, fill it up. So once your car does break down, you can put that in. Buy some, some water because you don't really need food for now. Uh, yeah. Or just keep the money. Yeah, keep the money. Um, uh, get the jerry can. Once you get lost, put it in. Drive to the nearest gas station and then go home. <laughs> and try and triple our profits, you know. What are you talking about? Gambling? Hey, no, go. what are you talking about? No. No. Here's to the next one third of the petrol tank. All I care about right now is sipping this water and decreasing my body temperature. If I was a superhero, Cheers, yeah, I'd change my name to Kelvin because I'm that hot, you know. Next mission, flip the money that we just made by entering the nearest casino and hitting the jackpot. If only that was the case. We've just run into our first problem with the car. This car's not in the best of conditions. I'm not even joking you. When I've got it in gear and I'm accelerating. Check the gear. I'm in fourth. Watch when I accelerate. Watch the revs. The clutch is going. It's not catching. The accelerator's not catching. So when I'm putting my foot down, it's just revving like the car's in neutral. We need to figure out a situation. The we need to pull up somewhere safe and figure the situation out. £11 is going to cover a clutch. You know, they're about £600. <laughs> 
crossfitting, by the way. Me and Luke managed to find somewhere to pull into so we could eat our first meal of the day, which was the free McDonald's that this lovely man gave to us. This should keep us going over the next few hours, which gives us the time to think about the next method of making money. Enjoy your cheeseburger. Yo, yo. I'm enjoy my chicken sandwich. The first bite of the day, the first succulent piece to touch our dry ass lips. Is this going to be enough to pull up money making <laughs> scheme out of nowhere? It's a bit dry. Well, it's a bit cold. I don't know if I've got the mental capacity, if you know, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What we're we gonna do with the um, the money that we've made so far? We could buy things to sell things. Is that something that people would always want? Sex. Oh. About a loan company, <laughs> and then like the API was like fifteen thousand percent or something. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we were just running out of ideas. But all of a sudden, we came up with this. We need to sell this car, you know. Why? That's the key. Logbook included, everything, bro. And it's got and it's got petrol in it as well, still. Someone to take that off our hands easy. I reckon you can get 100. Yeah, I reckon, bro, 100 quid, you know what we can do with that, bro? We can buy a tent, we can camp for the night, we can we can sleep in comfort, and we can probably get a taxi home. Bro, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Like Uber XL? No, 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 no. What's the luxury Uber then? What's it called? You know, the luxury Uber exec. Yeah, that's it, bro, with them, like, S-classes, bro. Yeah, bro, <laughs> we ain't got room for shit like that, bro. Well, that's almost as bad as saying, let's go casino. At least my idea, yeah. Hold on, you're not trying to justify the casino team. Uh, no, at least my idea, yeah, there's a return on it, a potential return. There's a high potential as well, because the man's lucky and that you get me. I was born on St. Patrick's Day. Bro, bro, <laughs> bro, tell a therapist that I don't care, come on. You mean you're lucky? Luck doesn't change, depending on who you are. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and sell this car. Me and my friend are driving that car until it runs out of fuel. The car costs two grand to begin with in the challenge. Do you want to buy it for like 100 quid? No, thank you. Dude. You sure? I doubt anybody in Lanny is going to buy that. Really? Is it not that type of place? No. no really. Okay. <sighs> Got Wait, rejected. Boys. I think the best place to sell it to is like a mechanic repairs place because they know how to fix the clutch and the transmission easy and it's going to be like easy for them like a hundred a hundred dollars or whatever flip it fix it flip it for like a thousand one thousand five hundred easy first man. rejection my entire life <laughs> i'm kidding my dad left when i was three we're selling the car you know do you want to buy it for 100 quid it's worth two grand <laughs> i ain't got two grand mate now 100 quid no, I ain't got 100 quid either. You want to buy a car for 100 quid that fully works? It's worth two grand. Bro, two pound? Yeah. You absolute legend, <laughs> man. Do you want to buy a car for 100 quid? I did. Do you want to buy a car for 100 pound? Well, I'd love to, except I can't drive these days. Oh, shit. <laughs> Three times I've been rejected now. Which ain't going well. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we even resorted never to going easier. to strangers' houses to ask if they want to buy the car from us. Got rejected again. He won't buy the car. I'm shattered already, bro. Oh, dear. What else are we going to do? Right. By the way, how do they not know? Like, they might think you just stole the car. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is against us at this point. I'm suffering bad from hay fever. Me and Luke are getting thirsty again. We're getting tired and this car is near enough empty on fuel. What are we going to do about running out of fuel? We're probably going to run out uh, of fuel. Imagine being allergic to the environment. Couldn't be me. All in the next 15, 20 minutes, I think. This is bad. I don't know where we are. Okay, how about... We list the car on Facebook Marketplace. It's pros and cons to it. The pros are, it goes to a wider audience. The cons, it could be on sale for literally days. But if I list it for such a low price, it might intrigue somebody, bro. All I care about, bro, is a good night's sleep for us. I'm, I'm thirsty uh, again, because of salt from McDonald's. I'm tired. It does not look good at all. The high fever is acting up. Bro, we, it's gonna be cold tonight, you know. We're gonna need to start a fire. Oh no, bro, no, no, no. For conclusion, the next step is to sell this car for £100 so that we have enough money for fresh food, water and a tent to camp in. There's no cheating our way out of things this time by selling selfies and begging for money. So it is literally down to making a legitimate sale on this car to get us through the night. Otherwise, we are screwed. But first, we got to fix one little issue. High fever has really destroyed me. So me and Luke are currently on the hunt for some high fever tablets 
and potentially eye drops with the money that we earn. Where the hell are the high fever tablets? Hold on, bro, you reckon? Claritin, we're there. Oh, I got these. Bro, why are they £9.65? Okay, yeah, we're getting the cheap one. We're gonna go with these. Oh, bro, it's like all of our work. Bro, bro just, just chuck, it in, chuck it in your pocket and just like, pretend it never happened, bro. Well, not Mac, is it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to Tesco's only. It literally does the same thing. One pound fifty. Sorted. Bro, whoa, Let's go. Whoa, 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 You've had cheaper whoa, 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 whoa. ones. Pound, bro. These? Yeah, yo, you see how they put the expensive stuff closer to your face? Yeah. So yeah. the cheap stuff. How much is all that? Sorry. Three pounds seventy-five. So three fifty seventy-five. There you go. Thank you so much. I got the goods, man. <laughs> we good. I'm really thirsty and uh. hungry again. Yeah, same, you know. Should I go get food? Well, we left out, yeah. At what, 11 a.m.? What time was it? Five to nine, bro. We've eaten one meal. <laughs> that what? Bro, that's re And it's a Mackey's as well. That's the worst nutrition possible. Bro, I had a cheeseburger. I need to essentially take a bunch of photos to list it on the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> the bumper's hanging off. <laughs> It's not looking good, bruv. Oh, no, there's one angle. <laughs> there's the second shot. And there's the interior. And for 100 quid, that is all the photos they're getting. 100 pounds, bro, for a thousand pound car, bro. They need to get their ass down here and inspect it themselves. Oh, fuck you, me. That's all the advertising I'm doing, bro. That's minutes of my life I'm never going to get back. You know, taking them pics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take another one, actually. Actually, I'm going to take another one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Create a new listing. Add photos. So, bang, 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 bang. I like them ones and that one. Worth? Over £1,000. Just need money as I am severely poor. 12 months. MOT. An offer you cannot refuse. You absolute idiot. <laughs> Bro, this has published it to my personal Facebook. <laughs> no! Bro, it's the sale! Oh <laughs> that was quick and easy! I'm actually really proud of that. That's my first Facebook Marketplace listing, you know. Now we wait, you know. That's all we got to do. This could be a long night of waiting to sell this car. After about 40 minutes of sitting around, I finally received a message on Facebook. I've got a guy that's messaging me right now that seems to be keen to purchase the car off me. He's asking a couple of questions. Seems like the most straightforward guy that I've spoke to so far. <laughs> far. The rest are just asking. <laughs> That's a mad profile. Fucking stupid I questions. Like come on, man. Come on. Send me the dress and I'll come by now, mate. Are you serious? Luke! Someone's buying it! I've got a guy on Facebook messaging me. Oh shit. He said give him the address and he'll come buy it now. He said have we got the logbook and I told him yeah and he's just literally been like, yeah, give me the address and I'll come buy it now. Yeah, that's a dog. Camping can go ahead tonight. And we can get food, bro. Yes, yeah, so I will leave now, mate. We'll be as quick as I can. Amazing. <laughs> Let's go! I think that's him. It looks like they got on Facebook. Excuse me? Are you buying the car? Yeah. Oh. This is probably the dodgiest sale I've ever made in my life. The guy was super jittery about the fact that we were recording, so we kept it brief, made the sale, and managed to get our £100. Let's go camping. Oh my god. £45 for a tent, yeah? It's a four-person double layered tent with a porch, bro. I've got a club Ooh. card. I've got a club card as well. Have you actually got a club card yeah. on you? Yes, please. I'll take that. Here's our trolley. I've got a shot of that dress. <laughs> oh. We've got two sleeping bags and we've got a tent, so... Snacks on snacks with, with water. Money, bro, bro, can you believe we've done this? Yo, have you ever tried um, San Pellegrino before, the lemon one? Nah, I'm not interested, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect, bro. Nestle. Nah, bro, don't support that, bro. Scum company, bro. You can't be seen touching yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, what yeah, did yeah, they yeah. do? Nestle makes water. Nah, did I, they sell water bottles. That's crazy. Yeah. The said water's not a human right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We've got like forty odd quid to spare, bro. Flavored water and the most expensive one. I'm going for this one. You know, which one do you want? That one. That. Yeah. And Why you know? The white yeah, I'm on that. Don't mind if I do. By the way, I'm spoiled. That's the best chocolate ever made. Don't, don't at me, bro. Don't at me. Best chocolate ever made. Spoiled for choice, ladies and gentlemen. I am spoiled for choice. You know about these, Chris, bro? You know about these? Oh, yes, I do. If you haven't tried them, go collect yourself a pack. Yo, Jay, my vouchers are nah, strong. Nah, it's a strong one. Trust me. Trust me, low key. I actually can't believe we've got this far. Next up, we're heading to the nearest forest that we can find to camp out for the night. Very tired is an understatement. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Hey, if you've just me all day, I'm ready to get my head down. It's been a long day. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble getting to sleep at all. I'm not even joking you. So right near where we sold the car, there was like a reservoir just behind Tesco. So we started walking through the forest. We've ended up on like some little pathway, which is perfect because I feel like we're gonna get a good night's sleep here. I'm extremely proud of us for making money. How do you feel selling your body? I'm very proud of you as well. For money? I feel empowered. <laughs> I don't know where we are, man. I'm so out of my comfort zone right now. This is unreal. I love you guys. We did this for you, you know. Problem after problem. These situations, man. Bear with me. I'm going to do this for us. I'm the tent guy, bro. There. Tent Yo, man, your tent man, tent bro, man. that's pretty big, you know, for 30 quid, bro, with that club got discount. <laughs> How's this video turned into a surviving overnight challenge? I'm gonna lie in it, I wanna <laughs> give it a rate, and then I want you. Why, to... why didn't they just um uh just call the taxi when they made the sale? Maybe it's better for the uh, like for the content. Give it a rate, in okay. With your shoes on, yeah, is that you? What would you mean I get no mosquito boats on my toe in hell? Yeah, we didn't get any pillows. <laughs> Fuck the pillows, bro. This is a... bro. I'm, I'm happy to sleep here. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. Hey, tell me what you're saying. I like got free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, it's nice and long. It's you know, still like on the ground. Room, bro. It's been a very, very long day, yeah. So I'm currently camping in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where I'm. I'm in Wales somewhere. We ran out of supplies, so we had to sell the car. It meant that we could get a sleeping bag, a tent and food for the night. So it's currently 2 a.m. Me and Luca have just been chatting away, vibing. But I think it's time to hit the deck, you know. We're gonna get some sleep. All right. Oh, I'll see you in the morning. Don't tempt oh, you. My back, bro. We slept fully clothed, you know. I slept with my shoes on, guys, because, like, I got a bit shook that the, the flies would eat my toes, you know. So, <laughs> the plan today is to get home and we either get a taxi or we hitchhike. You got this. I actually bro. think I fell in love with you on this adventure, you know. Wait, how are they gonna get a taxi if they don't have their phones? You're weird, man. What street are we on? I think I, well, I, do I, think have... I can pronounce it. Geographid. You guys have no idea how hard it was to pronounce the street names around this area, but we finally managed to get a taxi. Yeah, coming now. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you. We got a taxi on the way. Finally, we got a taxi on the way. Oh, you have saved the day, honestly. Guys, we're finally in the taxi. We're finally heading home. You don't know how happy I am right now. The actual reality of the ending of this video is this. Me and Luke got back and we were so tired we couldn't even outro the video. We just went straight to bed. <laughs> I have no idea how Ryan Trayan has done this for 30 days on the trot. Yeah, shout out to him. In much worse circumstances. Like, hats off to the guy, it's insane. I'm not taking my hat off though, because my haircut's clapped right now. If you enjoyed this video, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate it more than you know. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace. Okay, well that was the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my socials. And I'm out. Peace.